My name is Laura Palmer, and I will be taking you through my Unity project. Um, so to start off with, uh, the individual has to click the glass case to start the interaction. Um, I wanted the whole game to feel like it was just one solid flowing camera. I didn't want there to be any jump scenes, so whenever you click uh, one of the interactions, the camera will just pan down to the scene instead of doing a jump cut. So you can see that the uh, display here discussing the individual that the, all of the models are based off of. You can end it back and the camera pans back as well. And it will always pan back to this original scene. Um, from here, the individual can click uh, any items that are on display and are also able to rotate it at 360 as well to get a closer look. And you will also get some more information about the item as well. And then you can just click back and it'll go back to its original position again, which just keeps the fluidity of the camera. Um, I'll just take you through the more basic items now. So this is also the con contextualization piece. Um, I put this inside of a glass casing just to give it more of a 3D inter feel for the interaction as of course the contextualization piece I made was just a 2D effect. Um, let's see, exit that. Uh, from here, this gets to the more complicated artifacts that I made. So for the microscope, it had some pieces that I wanted the individual to be able to interact with. Um, for some reason when I was making it, it wasn't allowing me to actually set the triggers on the specific pieces of the item, so I just created them as buttons. So when you click the button, a certain piece will uh, of that item will start to animate. So for instance, like that. And the tray going down as well. And the individual can do this as many times, and it doesn't matter what direction the uh, object is in, they'll always do the animations. From there, back to the original scene. Um, and then for displaying the vasculum, I wanted the individual to be able to actually open the object as well, because this is a big case with hidden shelves and such. So once again, it wasn't allowing me to add the triggers actually onto the object, so I just made a button for them. So you just click that and you'll watch the animation of it uh, opening up. And from there, it gives you a new trigger to open up some of the uh, shelving as well. Once again, you can do this as many times as, uh, as you want. You can just lock it back up and take it back to its original position. Um, at all times, you can also just go back towards the uh, beginning as well. And it just takes you back to the main menu and it's just a loop from there. Uh, but yeah, the main aim was to make it feel like it was one solidly moving scene, um, even though this has all been created through multiple scenes that have just been very carefully placed and making sure that all the coordinates uh, we're in the exact same position as the scene jumped, which I think I did uh, quite accurately. Um, so yeah, that is the the whole exhibit.